Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic audio and video related products. Well today we're taking a look at a kit lens. I actually don't think it should be designated as a kit lens, but that's what Panasonic have designated it as. And it's a Panasonic S 20 to 60 kit lens that is quite often bundled with the uh, Panasonic S5, the S5 II, the S1 uh, and various other uh, owl mount bodies that they have. Not to confuse it with their Micro Four Thirds bodies, it isn't a Micro Four Thirds lens, it's for full frame owl mount lens and I've got it fitted to my Panasonic S5 Mark II. Oh, it obviously works on other owl mount bodies such as the uh, Sigma FP, FPL or the Leica bodies. So it is a standard owl mount lens um, and it's a beautiful lens. The optical quality is far better than what you would expect a kit lens to be um, and it's a really really nicely made lens. Uh, it does trombone as you zoom through the range uh, but I mean that doesn't bother me but it's got a lovely zoom ring, really really nice uh, zoom ring and a really really nice manual focus ring. Although I tend to use autofocus, um, I very rarely do use manual focus. But if you do need to use manual focus, it is there. Now, the beauty with the 20 to 60, which is quite unusual for a kit lens, is its range, its optical range or its focal range. It's 20 at the wide and 60 at the telephoto end. Um, one more meter standard to telephoto. Now, most kit lenses come around about 24 and some of them are even 28. If you look at the Sony uh, full frame kit lens that I have on my A7C, that's a 28 to 60, uh, but that's a lot more compact lens. And I don't think the optical quality is as good as what it is on the uh, Panasonic lens. Um, although to be fair, I've got some really nice images from the 28 to 60 and I enjoy keeping it on the A7C if I'm going out for the day because it just makes the whole, the whole system really, really compact. So that's another decent uh, lens. Now, I'm not really doing a comparison between these lenses simply because you won't be able to fit the Panasonic L mount lens on a, a Sony E mount body and vice versa. So it's pointless doing a comparison really. If you own the E-mount system or the Sony system, you're going to buy a, a lens that fits that and vice versa. Um, now, the Panasonic uh, owl mount uh, 20 to 60 is a variable aperture. It's not a constant aperture. And I guess that's why it's uh, designated as a kit lens. It isn't a constant F4 or an F2.8. It would be much bigger and much heavier if it was an F2.8. But this lens, if you bought it used, represents amazing value for money. I mean, its aperture range is f3.5 to 5.6, so it's not a low light beast, but because it's on a full frame body, you can crank up the ISO anyway without too much trouble. Now I'm gonna go through some images on my computer here. I'm only, only gonna flick through them, uh, give you an idea of how good this lens is. If you do own uh, a Panasonic body or you do own an owl mount body, it might be worth looking at the 20 to 60. Or even if you own the 20 to 60, you might think, oh, I'll, I'll use it more often. Maybe it is worth using. Um, and it is a great lens. The only switch on it is the autofocus, manual focus switch on the side. Um, so they've kept it you know to a, a bare minimum as far as switches and features but the quality is beautiful they haven't actually uh, skimped on the quality of a lens and that's what i really like with panasonic the lens quality is the same as you would get from their other s uh, s line series of lenses so it is a really really nice lens and as i say it's nice and sharp if we have a quick look at just a few images it doesn't matter which one really and we could go any of these images um, you'll see the clarity is good the sharpness is really good detail is good edge to edge there's no vignette in um, it is really really nice and obviously the great thing with the lens being that it's a 20 to 60 you've got a, a, a nice wide angle it's almost it's not quite ultra wide but it's a lot wider than either the 24 normal 24 28 most kit lenses start at 24 and the sony for example is 28 that's a 28 to 60 uh, that's a 20 to 60 so if you're into vlogging for example the panasonic is going to be so much better for vlogging than what the sony would be because it goes wider and you can use this kit lens for professional work as well just bear in mind it hasn't got that constant aperture which could be a hindrance if you're uh, filming videos 
because uh, the aperture will change as you move through the zoom range. But if you're doing stills, not a problem whatsoever. And I say, the image quality and sharpness is really, really nice. I say, your best, look at even when you zoom in, when you go pixel looking, it's really, you know, pixel looking, whatever that means, uh, pixel peeping. Um, really, really good quality. Really, really good quality. Um, if we go if we go out of the garden, let's go. Um, so even when you're shooting into light, really crisp. I love this lens. I use it a lot. And look at that. Beautiful clarity, edge to edge sharpness. The bokeh is really nice. I mean, it isn't a bokeh lens per se, because it isn't an f1.8 or an f2.8. But under the right situation and the right condition, you can throw the background out of focus. You can create that separation between the foreground and background. Particularly if you're shooting at the 60mm end of the lens, you can create that nice separation, even though it isn't a, an f2.8 or an f1.8 lens. Um, but uh, I, I just love its colours. And see so again there, that has thrown the leaves out of focus on the background but brought the flower into focus. So, you know, it is it is doable. It is doable. I, I, I'm very happy with this lens. I mean, Panasonic have created a really nice kit lens here. Um, I think that it does compete very favourably with other kit lenses on the market. I think it certainly competes with other S-mount lenses or L-mount lenses, S-series of lenses that Panasonic have. Uh, in their full frame lineup. Um, again, if we look at some of these images here, you know, very, very nice images. Just brighten that up a little bit. Go full screen. Again, the clarity of the, that building is really, really good. And so take a look at these images on my. Um, Flickr page, you'll see what I mean, you know. The sharpness and detail in that tree. Yeah, there we go. I could keep on going, but you're best off looking at them on Flickr rather than studying them here. But it is quite a compact lens. Uh, it's got a nice lens hood with it. Um, what I like also about the Panasonic cam uh, lenses, the lenses are really good. It's got a proper little click uh, the clip on the lenser to be able to put it, get it on and off. I, that I do like. Um, I like the design of it. You can hear the click there. It's really, really nice, firm click. Um, build quality, as I say, is excellent. They haven't skimped on build quality at all with this lens. Yeah, so there we go. That's the Panasonic 20 to 60 kit lens for the uh, owl mount bodies. And I so say, what I really like, my favorite thing about it. Um, amongst many things, but my favourite is the fact it goes to 20mm as opposed to 24 or 28 The Sony lens when I'm going out and about that's, can be quite limiting if I'm filming architecture and I can't get that far away uh, to be able to, you know, get the whole subject in. At least with this, I can go right to its widest to 20mm uh, and still get a nice sharp image at 20mm. So yeah, great, great little lens. So there we go. That's for Panasonic 20 to 60 uh, f3.5 to 5.6 uh, owl mount uh, kit lens so yeah hope you found that useful please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so hit the like button if you like the content of my videos would really really appreciate that and don't forget to take a look at these images on my Flickr site that would be fantastic so cheers for now thanks bye